Good morning, my dear fangs. Happy Friday. I hope you all had a lovely week. Welcome back to the cavern. To the newcomers, welcome to the channel. I'm Kasaro with the weird, bizarre, and sometimes scary. If you have a love for weird stuff, click that subscribe button to show your support and become a fang. To the new fangs, thank you so much for showing your support. It means a lot to me. You make this all worthwhile. I mentioned earlier I discussed voodoo dolls, but I think we need to delve into the religion just a little bit, and I will make it short, I promise. So voodoo supposedly started in Haiti. However, people practice it in Jamaica, Dominican Republic, and the United States, along with West Africa. Believers of the faith believe in a supreme being called Bandai, which is an unknowable and uninvolved creator god. Believers also worship many spirits. Each is responsible for a specific domain or part of life. Similar to the Greek gods or Egyptian gods and goddesses. So, for instance, if you're struggling in your relationship, you would praise or leave offerings for the spirit of love, or Zuli Fredo. In addition to assisting with human affairs, the or spirits can manifest themselves by possessing the bodies of their worshippers. I mentioned this in my possession video. The card is above me, if you'd like to check that out. Spirit possession in voodoo is not seen as evil or an act of demons. People believe that the soul can leave the body during dreams and spirit possession. It's considered valuable, a first-hand experience and connection with the spirit world, which I think is actually kind of cool. So where does the voodoo doll come in? Well, voodoo dolls are a part of voodoo rituals in West Africa, Haiti, and in New Orleans. They're always used for healing purposes, not for harming others like in Hollywood. Not really surprising. In cemeteries, you may actually see these dolls hanging from trees. This is to open and maintain communication lines between the recently deceased and those left behind. And some practitioners will actually create voodoo dolls to allow people who are living to communicate with their deceased loved one, which might be a child, a sibling, parent, grandparent, spouse, Whatever. Um, if a doll is tacked to a tree upside down, they are to make the creator stop caring for someone bad for them, so a toxic individual. The reason voodoo dolls became evil or viewed as evil was because of witchcraft. No surprise. People were terrified of magic, and when African people were enslaved in America, they were forced to convert to Christianity or were prosecuted for a multitude of reasons. Voodoo was charged with cannibalism, murder, and devil worship, which none of these are true. Even the zombie myths aren't real. The original Haitian zombies were victims, people brought back from the dead through magical means by priests called bokers. Sometimes the zombification was a punishment, striking fear into those who believed they could be abused even after death. The word zombie actually first appeared in English around 1810 when historian Robert Southey mentioned it in his book, History of Brazil. However, the zombie, missing the E, mentioned had nothing to do with a brain-eating man-like monster. Instead, like many other voodoo, Loa was an African deity. I find it interesting how so many religions that are misunderstood are demonized because they are different and seen as evil because they don't follow the same belief system as another. It's been this way for centuries, unfortunately. The way I see it, religion is here just to make us feel better about dying and death. There may not be any evidence or fact to prove the existence of gods, goddesses, spirits, the afterlife, but we believe it, and you can't break a belief because it's a lot like an idea, a dream, a passion. It brings comfort and no one wants that shattered because then our existence becomes pretty depressing, if you ask me. But what are your thoughts on the voodoo faith and voodoo dolls? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Stick around till the end. Later tonight, I'll be reviewing Prey. I know I mentioned reviewing a couple doll movies, but Prey came out and I love the Predator films, even if I haven't seen The Predator, which I think was the last movie. I heard it was terrible, so I never got around to watching it. Plus, it's not anywhere on any streaming service, so... I haven't really been able to watch it, even if I wanted to. I have seen the others, and I couldn't wait to see this one. I heard so many good things about it, and I refused to see the previews because I didn't want to ruin it. Because a lot of times the previews ruin the movie for me. If you don't want to miss what I thought of the movie, click the bell icon to never miss a video. Can't wait for more. Check out my other videos on the screen.
next week I'll discuss Gacy in depth since I did a psych paper on him in college and this is Clown and Doll Month. Of course you're gonna have to talk about Gacy the Killer Clown. Whether you want to or not because people are curious about serial killers. And I'll also share my top favorite clowns in horror. If you can't wait for that. I'm actually excited <laughs> to share what I thought, what I think are my favorite clowns. So take care and have a phenomenal weekend. Bye everyone.